What is up, my fish tank guys and girls? Yo, I'm hanging out here at the five gallon Pico Reef. It's not looking very good. Again, I'm struggling. I actually did a video on cleaning a super dirty aquarium a couple weeks ago. This was the super dirty aquarium. It was nice and clean. Now, if you take a look at it, it's really dirty. It's not super dirty, but it's really dirty. And I'm starting to realize that I just can't keep up with this tank. It's a really nice tank. I have um, things that I don't like about it and things that I really like about it. But overall, it's a pretty nice tank and I wish I could keep up with it. But, you know, with the BioCube and the, you know, the two 20 gallon longs, the reef tank duplex, the fish tank duplex, whatever you want to call it. I'm just not sure if I can maintain the five gallon Pico Reef anymore. So... This is going to be the final video of the five gallon Pico Reef. Okay, so now that I've decided this is the final video of the five gallon Pico Reef, I'm going to let you guys know what I'm going to do, how I'm going to send it off, and uh, sort of the next steps, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a good cleaning again. I want to send it off in style. I want it to look nice for its curtain call. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So uh, I am going to clean the tank one more time. Then I'm going to take you guys through everything that I liked and disliked about this tank the Fluval Evo 5 gallon. I'm also going to tell you guys what I did well, not a whole lot, and what I could have done a lot better. There's a whole lot in that category. So uh, through the magic of video editing, I'm not going to make you guys watch the entire cleaning process. I'm just going to fast forward a little bit and you're going to see the tank in a much better place. So just to make things a little fun, I'm going to snap my fingers and the tank will go from super dirty to mostly clean in the matter of half a second. Well, looks pretty nice, huh? Now, if only maintaining a five gallon Pico Reef were as easy as snapping your fingers and performing a water change and cleaning the tank and replacing the filter media and all that good stuff, owning this tank would have been a lot easier. That's for sure. Now, before I get into a little bit more about what owning this tank was like, I will say I'll have one more video about this tank, but it won't be in the Pico Reef series. It's actually going to be a review of the Fluval Evo 5-gallon tank here. I've had this tank for quite some time. It's really easy to do short-term reviews, but it's not easy to do long-term reviews. So I'm going to take this opportunity to talk about everything I've learned over the course of the last couple years owning this tank. So I think that'll be an awesome video. I hope you guys check it out. Now to wrap up this series, I'm going to talk about the things that I think I did well with this tank and the things that I don't really think I did well. Uh, the things that I think I did well, the list is actually kind of small, okay? The first is just buying this tank. Buying a five gallon all-in-one tank I think was a good decision. It was something that I always wanted to try. It was a good experience. Uh, I learned a lot about keeping a very small aquarium and how difficult it can actually be. Now, uh, I also think that some of the modifications that I made to the tank were beneficial. There are, if you guys remember from the early video series, there was like a hole in the in the back wall that would allow water to basically bypass your filter media I plugged that I thought that was a good decision and there was also like a gap between the two chambers that I also plugged I thought that was a good decision also um, in terms of the heater well you know the heater putting it in the back chamber was not all that efficient because there wasn't a lot of good circulation back there so I actually had to cut the pipe from the return pump so some of the water would circulate back into that chamber and actually be heated up uh, was that a good idea yeah I kind of think so otherwise I don't know how well the tank would have maintained temperature I think for the most part it was pretty stable um, one of the other things that I think I did well is the gosh dang I put a hearty coral in this thing this guy right here I can't even tell you what it is it's some kind of uh, SPS it's like a Monty but it's got them weird things sticking up I don't really know if you guys know what it is let me know in the comments but 
I did a good job of putting that coral in this tank because that thing is a workhorse. This tank is has been dirty probably 75% of the time that I've owned it, and that thing has actually grown, which is pretty crazy. So uh, I give myself a pat on the back for that, even though I didn't really make an informed choice or a smart choice i just kind of got lucky so uh yeah i did that well when it comes to this tank also and lastly i think i did a good job of adding an additional power head you have the small rio there it's actually kind of crooked i'll fix it and then you know in between one of those cuts it'll look normal again but um adding that was uh good for circulation in the tank to keep the water moving because without that the pump that comes with the fluval evo 5 is let's say a little underpowered so I think I did pretty well in that regard also. Okay, so let's move on to some of the things that I could have done much better when it comes to this tank. This list is probably going to be kind of long. Hopefully I don't ramble on and on. Maybe I'll edit myself here and there to cut out the, the parts that don't matter, like when I start talking like this. But um, So anyway, some of the things that I didn't do well with this tank. Uh, I didn't anticipate how much maintenance it would require. Um, a tank like this, I would say even if you add in all kinds of chemical filtration and chemipure and purity, and all that stuff you still need to do consistent water changes and in my experience I would recommend that is once a week uh, that is one thing that I definitely didn't anticipate I think that goes hand in hand with the other mistake that I made which was putting this tank in my basement out of sight out of mind per se if I would have had it on my desk and I would have seen it on a daily basis I probably would have noticed like hey I'm starting to get some algae creeping in maybe I should do a water change whereas I wouldn't be over on this side of the basement for a few days at a time and I would come over and look at it and it would be just overgrown with algae and it would be a complete mess so that was one of the other mistakes that I made uh, I would also say that having it in this environment I don't know if it would change at all it's a little cooler in my basement I know the air temperature disparity um, between the air and the water will cause evaporation to happen more quickly I think because I've had it down in this cold environment I got a lot of evaporation with this thing I don't have an auto top off on it it's a five gallon tank why would I put an auto top off on and um, half the time when I'd come in those rear chambers would almost be empty and the pump would be like screaming for water like please give me some water please I can't there's nothing here um, so that was another kind of big mistake that I made um, in regards to this tank okay so I'd say there were two more mistakes that I made that I would definitely do different if I were to buy this tank all over again the first is replacing the physical filtration sponges that came with the tank they're kind of like a breeding ground for yucky grossness and what i should have done is create my own little media rack out of egg crate i actually started doing it now that i've decided to take the tank down i'm not going to finish that project but i think that would have been very beneficial to maintaining the tank a little bit better it would have been a little easier to see when the the um the filter floss was getting dirty the other problem with the filter media that came with it is that the sponges were black so you can't always tell visibly when it's ready when you know when you need to change them out when you need to wring them out you know rub them together swish them together give them a zhuzh whatever you say i don't know um in order to clean them so i think i definitely could have done that better and i would say the last thing that i would have done is swap out the return pump the return pump as i mentioned earlier does not quite have enough power to circulate the water through the filter media which makes those water changes all the more critical so all of those elements combined together made this tank very hard to take care of one of the other things that i didn't really take into consideration is once i have rocks in here and once i have sand the it's not even a five gallon tank anymore it's probably closer to three and a half or four which is a very very small environment to keep a reef and keep it healthy and um, maintain you know a good environment for coral to thrive for inverts to thrive I used to have a shrimp in here unfortunately he passed away you know because I didn't take good care of it so all of those things combined you know there was a lot that I didn't do good uh, when I do my review I'm gonna tell you guys about a lot of what I feel are shortcomings of this tank I think there were things that 
could have been changed functionally about the tank that would make maintenance a little bit easier. Uh, but I will say I definitely love the look of the aquarium. It's a great looking aquarium. It's really awesome. So really that's all I have for the final video of the five gallon Pigo Reef. I hope I didn't ramble on too much. As I mentioned, there will be a separate review of the Fluval Evo five gallon tank. I will put a link to that in the description below. I'm also going to do something with this tank in the future. Um, you guys will see that on another video on the channel. But I just want to thank you guys so much for sticking with me. I wish this series could have been better. I wish I could have had like one of those little magical mystical gardens of coral with all the bright colors and the greens and the oranges and all the pinks and the purples. Yeah. Um, but I just couldn't, you know, because I didn't have enough time to maintain this tank the way I would have liked to. So uh, partially my bad, partially the tank yeah, has a little wonky things about it. But overall, it's a pretty nice tank. And I uh, hope you guys please... Uh, tune in to the review so you can get the full gambit of what I liked and disliked about the tank. So once again, I am the Fish Tank Guy. Follow me on Instagram or Twitter at Real Fish Tank Guy. Give me a shout. Give me a follow. Give me a retweet. Give me an app to tag me in your picture. I don't know. I'm not a good social media person. But uh, if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. I'd really appreciate it. Smack the notification bell so you know when my review is live. And until a future Fish Tank Guy video, I will see you guys soon.